when the three sides are the only known quantities of a triangle, we can use Heron's rule to find the area. To use Heron's rule, we define a quantity S, or capital S, that's equal to side A plus side B plus side C, all divided by 2. Another way of saying it, capital S is one half the perimeter of the triangle. And the area of the triangle is equal to the square root of the quantity S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C. Example, find the area of the given polygon, A, B, C, D, where you are given angle theta plus angle beta equals 72, and angle alpha plus angle gamma equals 130. Now, whenever you're given a polygon, if we can divide it up into a number of non-overlapping triangles, then the area of the polygon is simply the sum of the areas of the triangles. In this case, we have divided our polygon into two triangles. Triangle ABD, we call area 2, and triangle BCD, area 1. So the total area is area 1 plus area 2. To find the total area, seeing that all we were given was angle B, which in our diagram is theta plus angle beta, was 72 degrees, and angle D was 130 degrees. First, we find the value of beta. Now, to find the value of beta, we can use the law of cosines in the triangle B, C, D, because we have the three sides of triangle B, C, D, 15, 12, and 17. So we use the law of cosines, and we find that angle beta is 28.51. So once we have found angle beta, then we can find the area of triangle B, C, D. It's simply 15 times 17 times 1 half times the sine of angle beta, which we just found. So A1 is equal to 1 half times 15 times 17 times the sine of 43.49 equals 87.75 square units. Now we find angle alpha. Again, to find angle alpha, we use the law of cosines in the triangle BCD. And angle alpha works out to be 70.65 degrees. Now, once we have found angle alpha, we can find angle gamma, because alpha plus gamma equals 130. So now in triangle ABC, we have angle B, or theta in this diagram. We have angle D, or gamma in this diagram. So we can find angle A is simply 180 minus 28.51 minus 70.65. So angle A is 80.84. Now we can use the law of sines to find the length of the side AB. So 17 over sine of angle A is equal to AB over the sine of angle gamma or 17 over the sine of 80.84 equals AB over the sine of 70.61. So AB equals 16.25. And once we have found AB, now we can find the area of a triangle ABD or area A2. It is simply equal to one half 
times 16.25 times 17 times the sine of the angle 28.51 equals 65.93 units. So the total area is area 1 plus area 2, which equals 153.68 units. Find the area of the triangle given the following three sides. Side A, 128.8. Side B, 86.4. Side C, 254.2. S is equal to 124.8 plus 86.4 plus 154.2 all divided by 2 equals 182.7. So we just apply Heron's rule. The area is equal to the square root of S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C. And we get that the area is equal to 5,388.21 square units.